Hey guys, Remodeling Nerd Jeff here, coming to you from a project that we've got going on in Wellesley. We're kind of in, putting the final touches on it. It's um, a project that I became involved with a couple months back. Uh, the customer had, had a general contractor working on the house and they had taken on the hardy siding part of the project as well and kind of had made some, some serious mistakes and things fell apart in their relationship where the, uh, the builder was kind of charging him for some things that he wasn't providing and they got frustrated and the, um, and you know, really, really kind of comes down to like with a lot of contractors, they get in over their head and then kind of can't handle what's going on. So the stuff he had done on the outside was primarily the home wrap and most of the trim and the, uh, the trim really wasn't done correctly per hardy spec. So, so it's really important that you use, um, one inch deep trim. So that way when you, um, when you si when you butt the siding up to it, it actually makes, uh, makes, makes, uh, a sealable contact. So you can see here, we've got the uh, the proper one inch trim. So it makes a nice reveal where the trim sits out past the siding and this will all get sealed with the uh, the OSI quad max caulk. So um, so the previous uh, previous contractor had not done, done that. The, uh, the trim he had used was three quarter inch. And so that's gonna create a problem where the siding sits out past the trim. So we ended up having to tear down all the trim, which there's quite a substantial amount of trim on this job. It's uh, you know, you've got the water table at the bottom, the corner boards, freeze board up top, and then uh, the window and door casing. So all of that needed to come down so we could redo it with the correct stuff and um, and get it going. And at this point, the the job, like I said, is pretty close to done. It's a pretty nice combination of uh, hardy hardy lap siding as well as uh, some shingle panel up top and some other uh, sort of decorative details. They've got the craftsman style window casings with the sort of uh, the top casing a little wider than the uh, the side casings and the apron on the bottom. So that's sort of my intro to this job. I'll take a look at some of the finer details. There's a couple of interesting points on this that I want to show you guys. So here's another interesting point on this job. So if we look at these PVC sheets here, the um, see how we've, we've replaced them at this point and it's one long continuous piece. Um, when we first got here, there was a seam right about here in these PVC panels, which is really unsightly, especially when you're going to leave that as an unfinished feature. So the, um, the, uh, the reason for that is just, like I said, you know, a lot of times contractors get into things that aren't really their specialty. And so, um, so apparently the contractor they had working here before wasn't aware that you could get 10 foot sheets of PVC. So a lot of people think you can only get them in four by eights, like, you know, common plywood size, but you can actually get them longer than that. So we just uh, took down the four by eights and replaced them with four by tens, <laughs> cut to the proper size. So there's no seam there. Thanks for watching. You can always visit our website at solidstateconstruction.com to book a completely free consultation. And feel free to check out our Facebook page or our video library at YouTube.